Welcome to Le Grand Voyage with Chateau Malartic La Gravière. Picture yourself in a boat in Bordeaux. You're heading down river towards the Atlantic Ocean with a cargo of wine. You stand on the prow of your ship and you look left and right, to the left bank and the right bank. And those terms have become one of the great distinctions in the wines, particularly the red wines of Bordeaux. The land itself is very different. To the left there are the gravel beds of the Medoc, and these are quite a recent man-made phenomenon created by Dutch engineers in the 17th century. To the right are limestone plateaus. They're covered with a thin but vital layer of iron-rich clay, the crasse de fer. This gets wet and it stays wet, as you'll find if you have a walk through a vineyard after the rain. Your boots get all clarted up with claggy mud, and that influences the grapes that you find on each side. Those gravel beds on the left bank warm up in the sun and store their heat. It's perfect for ripening Cabernet Sauvignon, which needs more time and energy to gather its sugars and darken its thick skins. The clay is cooler and imparts an extraordinary character in Merlot. Cabernet can struggle to ripen in parts of the right bank, so the wines will be dominated by early ripening Merlot. And that in turn influences the style of wine from each bank. The Cabernet Sauvignon on the left bank gives us intensity, blackcurrant and cedar combined with a tang that reminds many people of pencil shavings. Some call them austere wines, and in a way they are. They can certainly vary from the muscular to the thoughtful, like the Spartan and the Athenian. The Merlot on the right bank takes us on a mellow path lined with plums and raspberries, hints of spice and rich sweetness. These are the hedonists of the region, Romans before the fall, libertine wines. And the two styles of wine are made in very different estates. The left bank estates are large and the chateau are grand. 17th and 18th century castles surrounded by gardens inspired by Florence or Versailles. There are Palladian mansions fronted by classical columns topped with a triangular fronton. Courtyards surrounded by a Romanesque tetrastoon porch. But don't be surprised to find a postmodern dreamscape tucked into the grounds like a a mini Pompidou centre. But the right bank estates are smaller, family-owned properties, gradually whittled away by a combination of the passing generations and Napoleonic inheritance laws. There are fewer chateaux in the sense of castle-like buildings, even if the wines carry the name. Many are much better described as rather beautiful farms, but what they lack in grandeur they more than make up for in charm. In fact, the left bank and the right bank don't entirely sit on either sides of one river. Much of each river bank is on a completely different river, until they join like an inverted Y shape in the Gironde estuary. The left bank sits on the river Garonne. In some vineyards with a good view of the river, you'll see large aircraft parts for the A380 Jumbo heading up river for assembly in Toulouse. The right bank sits in large part on the River Dordogne, it's famous for its tidal bore. And the two banks have their own hub as well, where their wines have been historically traded. The left bank is traded through the city of Bordeaux, the right bank through Libourne. And that means that the chances are that you'll know more about the wines of either the left bank or the right bank, depending on where you live. The city of Bordeaux traded with the different parts of Great Britain and Ireland, as well as Scandinavia. Libourne traded with northern France, Holland and Belgium. And even today the wines from each bank dominate in their historic markets. But all the talk of left bank and right bank overlooks a third area, between the Garonne and the Dordogne, between the seas if you like, which is Entre deux Mers. It's a pretty region of modest estates that used to make white, and many wish they still would, but today they make up much of Bordeaux's unassuming, youthful, cheerful red and rosé. Much of the joy in wine comes in discovery, 
and finding new flavours and sensations. If you know the sensuous left bank, try the sensual right. If you indulge in the fleshiness of the right bank, take a chance to feel the firmness of the left bank. And then join me again tomorrow for another story from Bordeaux with Le Grand Voyage. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.